How y'all doing? Good. I'm gonna sit right here for a second if y'all don't mind. Always, this will also always be, uh, you know, a part of me and, and who I am. And, uh, everybody who knows me knows that. You know, even even with me uh, and, and having my own shoe now, I always do a West Side colorway. You know, and um, it's just this school will always be a part of me. And like I told the kids, the NBA is things that can change. You know, my team could change from year to year. But one thing that I never changed is that I went to four years at West Forsyth and, and graduated from here. And uh, this is home for me. It's where I really started to become me. It's where I learned a lot of my life lessons, a lot of my values. Uh, it's where I had my ups, where I had my downs, where I realized, you know, what friendships are all about. You know, Stanford's a really, really good academic school and stuff like that. They said, listen, we can't offer you a scholarship right now because we look and see what you did your freshman year and, you know, it's not, it's not good enough for us right now. I'm like, what? I'm the class president. Do you, everybody come down here and offer me a scholarship. You are nuts. You better offer me a scholarship. They didn't. It was interesting to listen to Mr. Paul speak. Everything that he mentioned and what he had to do concerning his transcript. We did pretty much the same assembly yesterday and talking to our freshman class that your day starts now. But for a star, you know, to come in and share his experience, you know, being turned down by Stanford, um, to come in and share that with the kids, it, immediately you could see the kids, you know, this is real, it starts today. A middle school party is totally different from when you guys get here to high school. You guys are gonna be exposed to alcohol, cigarettes, marijuana, all those different type things. And you can call me a lame, you can call me what you want to, but I've never smoked a day in my life. Ever. Ever. When you go from middle school to high school, it's such a life-changing um, event. You know, everybody always tries to downplay it. Oh, it's not that different, but you become exposed to things that you, you never have been. You know, try to talk to them about some of my experiences coming into high school, because I think a lot of times people think that it was always just smooth sailing uh, to get into the college and then get into the NBA and, and to let them ask questions. I, I think for the kids, uh, I'm no saint by any means, you know, but I just try to do things the right way. Try to do things the right way. And I understand too now that when I sit here and speak is that my, my kids someday will be, you know, sitting listening to somebody speak. and. Um, you know, I hope that, you know, when they get older, they have people that they can look up to and, and sort of want to model themselves after. Because I tell people all the time, my two biggest role models were my parents. But at the end of the day, you still have to have goals and, and things that you would like to achieve.